What's going on guys, Leon Brat here and in this video I'm going to teach you exactly how to set up either channel points or chat commands to trigger on-screen alerts on your stream on Twitch. Let's go. If it's your first time here on the Leon Brat Music Channel, I'd like to say a huge welcome. It's nice to have you here. My name is Leon Brat. I'm a singer-songwriter and a loop pedal artist as well. Also, I stream on Twitch three days a week, every Wednesday, Friday and Saturday. And I also post videos here on YouTube twice a week. Every Tuesday is going to be a stream or a studio setup or some tips, tricks and hacks. And then on a Friday is a cover of a song or an original music video. If this video helps you out, then please do smash that thumbs up button as that helps my video get seen by other people who may need to see this. And also hit the subscribe button down below for more videos like this every single week. This is exactly how to set up channel points or chat commands to trigger on screen alerts. And trust me, it's a lot easier than you think. So I just want to give a quick shout out to Behaving Beardly. This is where I learned this method from. So massive shout out to him. Link to his channel will be in the description. So how is this going to work? So all the links will be in the description for a start. And we are going to be using Trigger Fire and Stream Elements. Both links to both of those will be in the description below. So all you need to do is just go down the bottom, click on those links and get yourself on those websites. You are then going to log in with Twitch. So we're on Trigger Fire here. So I log in with Twitch. You might have to authorize it for the first time and also for stream elements as well. Just connect with Twitch, connect, connect, connect. And you'll see that I've got a confetti here. I only use a confetti, only use a confetti at the moment. I did have a party popper set up, but I don't use it. <laughs> I, don't, I just don't use it anymore. So once you're connected to both of those websites, you're going to first head over to stream elements. And once you click on the link in the description, it will actually come up with a trigger fire by the Firewire um, overlay here. I've just clicked that link as well. So I've added an extra one. I didn't actually mean to do that. So you're going to click on edit and then you're going to click top right. It's going to say copy overlay URL. We're going to copy that. And then what we're going to do is we are going to go in to Streamlabs OBS, that's what I'm using. We're gonna have a bit of inception going on at the moment, um, but this is what, exactly what I'm using. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come down to the sources tab here. You're gonna click plus, you're gonna click browser source, add source. Um, I've got my trigger fire here. So I'm gonna click, actually I'll, I'll go new source. I'll put confetti as that'll be easier. Confetti. Add source, and then you're gonna make this 1920 by 1080, and then you're gonna paste the uh, URL in there. Done, easy. That is what you're gonna do for that so far. You are gonna come over to Trigger Fire, and you're gonna click this pink gear icon down the bottom right hand corner. You're then gonna to go to your token, copy the token, and then you're gonna go back over to Stream Elements, click anywhere on the on the screen, go to settings, then widget token and paste the widget token in here. And then you are going to save. Where on earth is the save? Ah, top right, <laughs> saves at the top right. It has changed, this, this website has slightly changed. So we're gonna click save top right there. Make sure you click save on that. <laughs> okay, and then after that, you're gonna come back to trigger fire come out of this now and then you're going to click on the blue icon down here so when you click that blue blue icon it's going to show exactly the same as this here and you can see that i've got confetti in here i've got my video which is can i put this in here so that's that it is green screen don't worry i'll show you exactly how to get rid of that green screen in just a sec so it's exclamation mark confetti, that's the command name, and I charge 1,000 channel points for every redemption of that. And the user level is broadcaster. I've actually got this set up on my stream deck as well, which I'm gonna show you exactly how to do in just a second at the end of the video. So the user cooldown I've got, I've set that to zero. The global cooldown, I've set it to 60. So that can only be triggered once every 60 seconds. And then if you click this button here, so you come over to the reward settings here, Add the name of the custom Twitch reward to link it to this trigger. This is called Confetti, that's a reward name. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over to your channel points. You're gonna copy that. Just trust me, just copy it. So it's exactly the same. This is case sensitive, so just be careful. 
So copy that there, come back over to trigger fire, paste that in there and allow command. I've, I've got mine as allow command. It doesn't matter, people, people won't be able to use it as a command because it's only on a broadcaster user level. That just means on my stream deck, I can just literally press it and it'll send a chat command to, the, to my Twitch chat and that will trigger the on-screen action. So I'll come back out of this. And that is it, that's literally it for all of that. You don't need any of the advanced settings. I don't use any of that. Let's just load up the chat. Let's type in confetti here. Okay, so as you can see, so as you can see there, that was all green screened. So what you're gonna to wanna to do now is you're gonna to want to come over to Streamlabs. You are then going to right click confetti or whatever you've called your browser source and go filters, then plus. And then you're gonna to go to chroma key, Built a name, that's fine, I believe it's chroma key, that's fine. And then key, key color type is green. Click done on that. And then if we trigger that again, Confetti. There we go. There we go. It is as simple as that. It is literally as simple as that. And then also what we can do is if we load up the stream deck, I'll just show you how to do this very quickly. All you're gonna need to do is come into the search bit here. Just go Twitch, put Twitch in there. And then find Twitch chat, chat message. There you go, drag that over to here. And then what you're gonna do is message in here, exclamation mark, confetti. That's all you need to do. So if I go to here, click on this, that you'll see this one here is confetti. So when I, when I press that, if I press it on screen, if I press it on my stream deck now, that comes up straight away for you. So there we go. There we go. That is literally as simple as that. I, do you know what? When I when I first found this out, I was like, wow, I could have done this ages ago. It's so, so simple. So, so simple. So guys, thank you very much. That is going to be the end of today's video. If that did help you out, then please do smash that like button. That would really help me out. And also subscribe down below for more videos every single week just like this one, nice and easy tips and tricks. And don't forget, I stream on Twitch every Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. So it'd be lovely to have you in the community over there. All the links to everything is in the description. If you need any help with anything, please do just leave me a comment down below and I'll get straight back to you. Also, you might be interested in a video that I've done this one here. This is 27 plus tips for new streamers and or musicians over on Twitch. So if you wanna check that out after this video, go ahead. Go and do that, and I will see you next week in the next video. Take it easy. Peace. Goodbye.